there, Kerbal fans. Maglin Venn here, bringing you a video on Kerbal Space Program. I know we've done a little bit of work on other program uh, videos, but this one's kind of out of sequence. Working on my main save, just got myself some Infernal Robotics pack. I got my uh, my Kerbal here. He's, he's about to climb up this ladder and jump in this. Uh, this special rover I built using the robotics. You can see the first version of this rover on the left side of the, the screen. The audio from the game was dumped, so um, we'll just be following along here uh, while this is going through. Anyways, there's a spot for the curveball to sit. This is this is unmanned, so I could run it without the curveball, but I figured there's a nifty spot right there to toss them in. So uh, here's the servo screen, a uh, pair of servos for the the dock, the main piston for the tower, and the tower itself. And I think I'm about going to dock over there on the end of that uh, cathane module. So we're going to lift the tower up out of the way first uh, because the dock hinges needs room to move. So we're just going to tip that up a little bit and then we're going to drive on over there. Uh, it's not super balanced. Um, you get going faster than five meters per second on curveball. Uh, or Kerbin, and it, uh, if you try to turn, it'll it'll roll. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this kind of stuff. Um, gravity's even lower on the moon, on Mun, as it were. So even slower than that. We're not actually going to dock this because the other one's already hooked up, and I don't want to have two towers uh, because the action groups are the servo groups are relatively the same names. So we're just going to bring this over so you can see how the dock alignment is an issue for this type of vehicle. So the first thing we're going to do is um, clear up our screen and then you're going to see here we're going to tip the um, we're going to tip the dock up which is going to be facing it upwards and then after we get it oh, went the wrong way there huh? um, get it tipped up and then you see the dock's facing up now so we're going to tip the alignment tool down just like that. I want to add a rototron right here so that the dock can be spun off to one side or the other. Um, makes parking faster because then I don't have to redrive the truck into place. So I can just move the dock where it needs to be. So anyways, with that done, um, the docks are lined up now and I could drive and dock it. But obviously we're not going to do that. We're actually going to play around with the tower itself. So... Uh, first thing we're going to do is lift that tower up the rest of the way. Sitting on a big beefy hinge. I don't know if I could actually use a smaller hinge here or not. I'm going to experiment with that. So anyways, the tower is erected. And the first thing we're going to do, um, I don't actually deploy the pistons all the way. I just kind of show you that it goes up here, I think. That's the next step I do. Yeah, I was talking about the different action groups at that point, but you'll get the point from the video, I think. I did rename, or I did name um, the dish groups wrong a little bit. I think I, the piston and the rotate are flipped, so there's a couple of spots where that's a little weird. The whole unit will rotate on the top of the piston, so I can, I can bring it into alignment, and then I can do fine alignment with the actual... Uh, dish itself. Rotating the dish and then here we're actually pushing the, dis the, pist the piston out from the tower because if we were to tilt the dish it would you know it would crash into the tower. Now granted the game doesn't do clipping mechanics like that but you know if you're gonna do it you might as well do it right. Anyways we can tilt the dish and then we can rotate it and because we're able to do that, we can, even though the base, the base is stationary, we can finitely tune and aim our dishes because this save game is using remote tech. And if the dishes are out of uh, each other's alignment, now each dish has a, a cone, right? Um, so if you're not pointing the cone directly where it needs to go, you could have a bit of a problem with that. Um, so anyways, there it is. That's basically where it's at. Uh, I'm going to add two more dishes. Uh, there's a communicator on, on top of it with 500, no, with 5 million meter range. 
and then a pair of solar panels just in case this thing doesn't get a chance to dock and I need to top off the batteries. Um, so there's that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a relatively simple robot for the first build. Um, I do run the dishes all the way up here in a second so you can see how that looks. I'm not sure when I did that in this video, actually. Yeah, right here. And because I'm using the three pistons, it actually gets up there pretty high. Um, keep in mind, your your view is always centered on the center of mass. So as we move the pistons, the the weight gets farther away, and so we have to uh, we have to change the camera angle in order to put the whole thing in view. So there you go, there's my deployable rover communication tower with docking port to make it so that it's base compatible. Uh, I haven't put this on the mud yet, and it still needs to happen. Anyways, Maglin Vin here. We'll be back next time. So, uh, the Space Program, thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and we'll see you